Hi everyone, my name is Sydney Mulholland and I'm currently an occupational therapy student here at the American Stroke Foundation from the University of Kansas Medical Center. Occupational therapists care about how you fill your time and they want to support you in the ways you like to fill your time. This also includes leisure activities such as reading, writing, learning, listening to music, listening to audiobooks, or streaming videos. And so that's what I'm gonna talk about a little bit today. Through local public libraries, there are so many free resources available to you. I've done some research on local libraries in the region, and they all have a few things in common. A library membership is free. You don't have to physically go into the library to get a membership. You can now do that online, which I'll show you how later. And they offer so many more resources beyond hard copies of bo books. This includes ebooks, audiobooks, digital magazines, newspapers, music, and videos, and much more. Over the next few slides, I'll demonstrate how to find your library as well as how to join it with screenshots and screen recordings. Seen here in the image below is an example of how to find your library. Some tips are searching by your city name, zip code, or county. While everyone has a free public library available to them, they determine your availability to join based on living in the area. So this is an example of how to find the library if you live in Johnson County. I searched public library in Johnson County and the first result was the Johnson County Library. Here's another example of finding your local library. I live in Kansas City, Missouri, so this is an example of what I searched to find my local library. I searched Kansas City, Missouri Public Library and this was the first result, the Kansas City Public Library. Beneath that, you see a few links to get to what you're looking for, whether that's the digital branch where you can see everything that's available online or through your phone, or library cards and accounts, which is where you can join. Now that you've found your library, let's talk about how to join. So my local library here is the Kansas City Public Library. So I'm gonna show you how to on that site but I've looked into other libraries in the area and it's a very similar process, so follow along. Now that I know the Kansas City Public Library is my library, I searched it online and I'm gonna go ahead and click on this link. It's the first result. And so this is the main page and I scroll down and on the far left, you can see where it says, get a library card. Now you can do this whole process online. Signing up for an e-card gives you immediate access to everything you could want, including ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, newspapers, videos, research databases, music, and comic books. The only requirements are living in the area. So I clicked on the Get an e-card link, and it sent me to this registration, which was really easy. Really only needed my name and address, and then I was able to join pretty quickly. Now that you've either become a member if you're following along, or maybe already are, or are considering, I'll walk you through some new resources you may not know about. When people think of a library, most people just think of books immediately, but there's so much more available to you all for free. So now I've navigated to the Kansas City Public Library website. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the digital branch because I'm gonna be accessing everything from my computer or phone or other smart device. So here, once you log in, or if you're just curious to explore, you can see all of the options available. Um, if you're looking for something in specific, maybe adult learning, music, there are oftentimes apps associated with those that you can get access to with your library login. So here's where you can see all of that. The Kansas City Public Library has its own app, in addition to many other apps that it gives you access to. I downloaded the Kansas City Public Library app as a member, and this app is mainly for the um, electronic materials such as books, audiobooks, and magazines. And while it's exploring this, there's over 80,000 titles in here. Reading or listening to a book can be a great pastime. If you have a favorite book that you'd like to recommend to others watching this video or a favorite audiobook, feel free to comment that down below. 
personally, I love to listen to audiobooks while in the car or doing chores. I recently just finished Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey, and I strongly recommend that book to anyone looking for a recommendation. There are so many benefits to filling your free time with things that you like. Following a stroke, some of your hobbies may change, but it's important to still find things that you like to do. That's why I encourage you today, if you're looking for something to fill your free time, that you explore the library's resources. There's so many things, no matter what your preferences are, whether you like listening to a book, reading it, want some adult learning, or music, any of the above are great hobbies. Hobbies engage your brain and work out that muscle. This can help improve skills like memory and problem solving. Having activities that you enjoy to do also helps reduce stress levels and leads to better quality sleep because you're keeping yourself busy throughout the day. Finally, hobbies lead to an improved sense of self. Having something that you like to do for yourself helps improve how you think about yourself and how you view yourself. Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you maybe learned a little bit about your local library, whether you're a member or not already. In the description down below, I'll include links for joining the libraries in our area.